if I am meant to experience this preservation that is so exciting and interesting what do I do? Number one, be established in righteousness. In righteousness shall thou be established. So, that doesn't give you room to live anyhow and expect his righteousness to cover you. No room. Isaiah 54, 14. Be established. Be established in uprightness. The way Job was. Hate evil. Be in the path of right. Follow the way that is good. According to 1 Peter 3 13, you know, and who is he that can harm you? If you are followers of that which is good, righteousness shall thou be rooted in righteousness. Let nobody be in doubt of your stand. Stand in righteousness. Number two, refuse. To fear thou shalt not fear refuse fear in any form in any guise that fear comes resist it do everything you can to give no place to the devil through fear Job chapter 3 verse 25 most of the news and the things you are going to hear are things that would like to put your life under pressure. Refuse to fear. Number three. Condemn the voices of confrontation. Condemn every voice that rises against you in judgment not the pastor will condemn not your prayer partner will condemn thou shall condemn I just gave you an example just now every voice of litigation every voice of confrontation every voice of enmity and hostility every voice of jealousy Every voice from the pit of hell rising against my life and destiny now, I silence you. I condemn the voice. I release the speakings of the voice of the blood of Jesus to silence the voice of the adversary. As you dreamt a dream and you heard some people talking some things about you in the dream that is not correct. You wake up in the morning, you condemn it. You use your mouth. God is saying, I have made you a judge over the litigation situations of your life. When the voice is condemned, the speaker is condemned. The voicer, the voicer is condemned. It's doomed. Number, number what? Number four. Understand your heritage of divine preservation. Understand that you are not an easily wasteable material. Understand that you have an inheritance of divine preservation. Psalm 49 verse 12. Nevertheless, man being in honor 
abideth not, he is like the beast that perished. Read verse 20. Psalm 49 verse 20. A man that God has positioned or given honor or given a privilege, who does not understand it is like the beast that perish. People are wasted when they don't understand what is their own. When they don't understand their heritage in Christ. He said the man that wandered from the path of understanding shall abide in the congregation of the dead. Is that Proverbs 13, 15 or 16? He shall abide in the congregation of the dead. If Twenty-one, sixteen. The man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Understand that you are not easily wasteable. You are not vegetable. You can be wasteable if you are vegetable. Understand your heritage. And finally, be committed to service. It is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Be committed to kingdom service. Serving in soul winning. Serving in soul winning. Serving in soul winning. Serving in the house. Serving with your resources. This is the heritage of servants. It's not the inheritance of everybody. It's not the heritage of churchgoers. It's not the heritage of amen shouters. It's not the heritage of bench warmers. It's the heritage of taverns. Until your service is confirmed, your safety is not established. If it is to come from God. This is the heritage of servants. Heritage of servants. Beloved. What light have you seen from, Revel, from Isaiah 54 verse 4 all the way to verse 17? Number one, the only conspiracy or gang up that can succeed against you is the one that, origin, that was originated by God. And if it is not by God, phew, it's inconsequential. Number two, the arise against you is their crash in life. The only rise, the only rose to crash. Number three. God did not license, create or license the manufacturers of weapons to manufacture anyone against you. See, I'm the one who created them. I didn't... Cre creating a weapon to waste you is not part of the reason why I created them. And four. No weapon that can destroy you will never be constructed and the one formed and targeted at you is useless powerless and harmless number five every voice of accusation or confrontation raised against you is doomed for condemnation you do it number six it is the inheritance of God's servants to be shielded and protected from the conspiracies weapons and tongue of the wicked and number seven it is not your righteousness that God will use to speak for you in the face of enemies confrontation it is his own righteousness that the enemy cannot stand that God will use so that by all means no devil has any excuse to finish you before your time lift up your right hand and begin to thank him begin to thank him